Okay, so hello. Now we will try with the Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, last time we were filming down there, but now we will try to take the whole field. Last time we just took this part of the field. So we will say edit. Let me just reposition the field like that. Add. And I think we have 30 points or something images. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Let's take one here and here. And then we say config. And we will say that the capture height is one meter, safe flight. Now there is safety on it, so just to have fun, we will say it's 2.2 meters. The safety will engage when it's below um, when it's below uh, two meters. And that's quite nice. And I think that's it. Uh, finish. And then we wait. It will send it to the drone. We will press start and hopefully it works. The weather is crap, but uh, I can't wait to test it. So hopefully it works. Let's go in for the first point. Descending. Yeah, you can see what's seeing. One meter takes a picture. Now I have the camera. Uh, also, Maria will try to have a close up. See how better light. So it's descending to one meter. Take a picture. Incline to, what did I say? 2.5 or something. 2.2. There. It continues. Just put it here. What you can see here is uh, altitude where it's using pressure relative to where it uh, started. And the one meter is what the ultrasound is measuring. And where is it in the root plan? See, that's the last point. The orientation of the flight, we haven't fixed that. Uh, that's detail. I think that's light enough to get quality images. Far away, this is where the takeoff was, and it's here close to the forest. It's descending, taking a picture. It's hard to see the drone. I can barely see it. That is. But the image quality is quite nice despite of the distance. And the safety is engaged, so that means when the ultrasound is measuring below two meters, it's uh, increasing the height. And that's quite nice. Just see it. Small white spot. So this is the last point.
come home. Thirty percent or thirty one. Mission completed. Okay, so we are back from the mission. <clears throat> there was a failure, so we had to put new points in when it had taken the first perimeter. But it, we could do that while it was hanging in the air, so that wasn't a big problem. The next thing is to empty this one. So I'll just Start it. I could take out the card, but uh, I don't have the read on this one. So I'll connect to it. I know the light condition wasn't perfect, but uh, let's see if we can live with it. At least it, you get an idea of how it would work. So now we have the F drive, that's the drone. And apparently we managed to record 30 images. We could have a quick look at it. Uh, let's see. My daughter apparently wants to change the scene. Here you can see some of the images. The light is not good, but it's good enough to see if at least grapeseed we can see and other of the big weeds. But it could be better. So the idea is here we have over weed support. <clears throat> this was the f images we made with the Matrice drone. You get a link to to the YouTube. This was the images collected, and uh, now I want to create a new upload. So. Create new blank upload. So I'll say that first test with Phantom 4 Pro. I'll just put the date, I always do that. Uh, winter wheat. And it's 5th of February, 2017. Create upload. So now I want to upload images. Select images. Just take all these. Say upload. Start upload. So now it's uploading all the images. Shouldn't take too long. And I think it's approximately one and a half hectare, uh, one and a half square meter per image. So. It's approximately 40 meters of the field we have where we can evaluate the amount of wheat. Uh, remember if the lightning has been better, this was misty and not really good, then uh, the wheat would have been a lot clearer to look at. But okay, we'll just try it because I can't wait. I'm just too anxious to see what we can do with the Phantom 4. So. 
Now you can see all the images here. So we have covered the uh, fields fairly well. Um, so the next step is to annotate. We have the first, uh, it could be automated. We have it works with the ATV images, um, but we haven't tested on these images. So I will annotate these uh, the hard way. You can see they're not perfect, could be better. So I'll go through all of them and then we, I will return and look at the grouping. 